Hey everybody, today on Hang With Harv, we're going to be building the Kahong. It's going to start out with this piece of 3 quarter inch cherry veneer plywood. So this Kahong that we're going to build, we're going to make it 14 inches wide, 12 inches deep, and 20 inches tall, just to be different. Let's start by getting our material cut down at the table saw. Alright, well we got our pieces uh, all cut to size. We got two pieces that are 12 by 14 that'll become the top and the bottom of the cajon. And we've got our two side panels. So obviously the construction will be very basic. We're going to do a, a dado in the bottom and in the top to fit this into. So this will go down into a dado, keeping just a very thin layer of the veneer out there uh, to cover up the end grain. Okay, we've got our two end panels with the very thin dados. I'm gonna call that probably about, uh, maybe, maybe an eighth. Nah, not quite an eighth. A little thicker than a sixteenth. So what'd that be? Three thirty seconds maybe, I guess, would be that dimension. So as I said, here's the joint. You can see, uh, you know, once we get that clamped up, it'll come together real nice and tight. We'll get some glue on it. Then we have this nice thin piece here. This side here is the top, and so when you're sitting on it, and putting your weight on it, you're gonna have full support with that three quarter inch board all the way to the ground. So I'm not worried about the thinness of this material here. That's really just to cover up that plywood edge. Once we get the skin on the front and the back, that's gonna keep this unit from racking. Okay, so what I just did off camera is I ran back to the uh, back of the shop here. I sat down at my V-Carve Pro and I came up with just a, a little pattern here that I'm gonna use for not only my sound port on the cajon, but also as a handle and so I kind of did this little detail curved up there and I'm going to use this as a pattern to be able to use my router and make that in the side of the cajon. This is one of the very reasons that I wanted to have a CNC machine. Not only for all the cool stuff you can do with it but for more practical things for me as I'm building something. For me to try and do this by hand using a couple Forstner bits, a saber saw, and then actually sanding all that and making it look nice and round and, and pretty. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of futzing around with things. It took me less than five minutes to run in the back, draw this up in just a few clicks, export it out, and put the wood on the machine, screw it down, cut it. It, it was just that fast. All right, well, we got our part clamped down here and we've got our patterning bit in and that's where it has a bearing on the top that you put down and it will go through and ride this template and make an exact copy of it. All I need to do now is take my drill with a Forstner bit and we're going to make a pilot or a starter hole to put that bit into. All right, we're gonna put earmuffs on. Got your earmuffs on? Yeah. All right. Now you can see that our pattern is an exact copy of that. Now we can unclamp it, take the top piece off. Of course, all the while we've got to be very careful because we've got these very thin veneers hanging off the edges. So now you can see we've got an exact copy. No fuss, no muss, no measuring, no guessing, no, no sanding to get it, you know, to make a curve out of it or any of that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, a little round over bit here that I've got set up in this one. And we're gonna just put kind of a, a nice eased edge on that. So we can put our earmuffs back on. Good. All right, so hopefully you can see now we've got a nice round over on this. We'll just do a little sanding on that, but that's going to allow us a nice, nice grip, nice, nice feel to it for uh, for a handle for our cajon. It serves two purposes. One is our sound port. The other one, it is our handle. Yeah, I think that works out nice. And it's on the side, which allows you, or anyone actually, obviously to, to play on both surfaces. You can not only play on the, the front, but also on the back. I know what you're thinking. You need dust collection. Oh, my. And you're right. However, my little assistant here, <laughs> plays the sawdust. I don't know why she likes to, but she does. So she plays with sawdust. So she is just happy as all get out that she's got this big pile of sawdust here now that she can scoop up and take back to her area in the shop. The front is going to be made out of one eighth inch material, but the back is gonna be made out of this quarter inch material here. You can buy these on this shop.
So, see what we're doing, sweetie, is we got to do some dry fit assembly. See? Yeah. So before we actually put it together, we're going to try and put it together without glue, how things look, if it's everything fits or not. And this, what we're making, is called a kahong. I don't know it looks it like kajong if you wrote it out, kajong. It's called a kahan, and it is, it's basically, it's a drum box. And so, oh, I yeah, and so what we're gonna do is this back here, we're gonna try and fit this back inside of here. Okay, so our back, our back is fitting in there real nice inside of that. And see, what we'll do is we'll put glue on all these pieces, and then we will get this put all on here, just like you this. Eventually somebody would, but not until it's all done. So we'll get this in here, see, like that. And then we'll put clamps all the way around, clamp all this. What clamp do you want? Sounds like I'm hitting a hunk of wood. Hopefully it'll sound better once it's all glued up. You want to spread some? Sure. You just have to be careful. Get your gear today. Check out hangwithharv.com. Click on shop. All right. So what we do, what we're doing now is we're preparing to build a mechanism to hold our snare uh, attachment to give the uh, cajon a, a little bit more of a of a snare drum sound, uh, which seems to be very popular in the ones that I've seen online. And so uh, basically, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this seven eighths inch poplar dowel. Uh, down to fit just in inside of here and then we're going to position it so that when I put this on here that it is not touching the top but as close to the top as I can get it. We will drill out uh, between these two lines here we will drill out and we will then insert a t-nut we'll put a t-nut on either side we will cut this uh, in the middle and we will then use the, the uh, gap that the kerf of the blade creates to pinch our dowel between, between here so that uh, this will act as our clamp. And we've got another block that we'll put at the other side. So we'll have the two sides here with the rod in between. <gasps> Ain't that something. Now you see what happened there. You cracked split right through that sucker. Das ist ja scheiße. Das ist scheiße. Scheiße, scheiße, scheiße. Scheiße, verdammt nochmal, das ist ja scheiße. All right, I will go to the bandsaw and I will split this one in half and then we'll be back in business. So we're just going to kind of come from this circle and go straight out first. Okay, so that would be straight. And then essentially we just want to flare it a little bit either side. All right, so essentially. All right, guys, that uh, wraps up uh, another episode here on Hang With Harv. I hope you found this project uh, interesting. Uh, we got some color in here. We tried something different. We've got our, our drum. I don't know how to play one of these. My nephew is the drummer in the family. Not bad. So we have that with the snare off. We can turn the snare on. Again, not a bad sound. I'm not the drummer, but hey, it's got it easy. If you're right-handed and you're playing, you can turn this on and off right there while you're playing. 
seems like a pretty good uh, design. I don't remember exactly where I saw that, but I saw so many different designs on how you could add a snare to a cajon that uh, I just picked a combination of those that I liked the best and made my own. With that, this wraps up another episode. Once again, I want to thank you for hanging with Harv today. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and click that like, like button. And also, if you're not a subscriber of mine, I would really appreciate it if you add me uh, to your subscriber list. And hey, while you're at it, you can click that little bell icon. That'll notify you the next time I post a new video. Thanks again. Take care.